Today we're going to make a blow painting that shows movement. And the reason why we're doing this project is because movement is the fourth principle of design after balance, contrast, and emphasis. Now, movement in art means when the artist tries to create some sort of illusion of something moving or tries to create some sort of pathway for the viewer's eye to look through the artwork so it doesn't get stuck in one area. So we are going to use a technique called blow painting to make our colors look as if they're moving across the page. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So in order to do this lesson, what you're going to need is a blank piece of paper. You're going to need either watercolors or if you only have food coloring, you can use a, a drop of food coloring instead. You're going to need water, a paintbrush, and a drinking straw, okay? So in order to get started, it's really fun and easy. What you want to do is uh, you want to get out your paintbrush and dip your paintbrush in water. Get your bristles wet. Then you can either uh, find a color that you want to start off with. Say I want to start off with my purple. If you have watercolor, you can use your paintbrush, your wet paintbrush, to swirl, swirl, swirl back and forth, get a lot of water on that paint, on your paintbrush, and then once you have a big glob of water, you can just simply put a drop of that water on your page. Just tap your uh, paintbrush on your page to have a glob of water. If you have food coloring, you can just uh, squeeze a little drop of whatever color food coloring you have on your page. If your um, watercolor is not a big, a big water droplet, you after you add it to your page, you can take some water from your water jar and uh, put it on your paintbrush and then add water from your water jar to your paintbrush on your page. So there should be a big droplet of colored water on your page. Then, next step, you're gonna take your drinking straw, you're going to put your mouth on one end, and then direct the other end towards your water droplet. So see, I'm, I'm putting it towards my water droplet. I'm gonna take a deep breath in, put my mouth on the other end of the straw, and I'm gonna blow through the straw towards my uh, water droplet. So let's take a big deep breath in. <gasps> and blow. Notice how my color moved across the page and I it moved in the direction that I blew it into. Now, if it fell off the page, hopefully you have something to wipe it up with. If I still have some water droplets, I might turn my paper around, line up my straw to those water droplets that are on my paper still and I'm going to blow them in a different direction. So I'm going to take my straw and put it, put my mouth on the other end and, and blow. And I'm going to keep blowing wherever I see more water droplets. I can even move my straw back and forth as I blow back and forth. Wow, look at all those little pathways that the water, the colored water has taken across my page. Now that I'm done with this one, I really like how it's looking. I might choose another color. So I'm gonna take my paintbrush, dip it in my water, and I'm gonna pick a different color. I'm gonna use a nice deep purple now, okay? So I'm gonna take my paintbrush, get a lot of water in that paint, and the, the watercolors get a big glob of that colored water. If you need more water to add to it, dip your paintbrush in your water jar and add a couple of drops of water onto the page. When it seems like it's all set, here comes the fun part. 
take your drinking straw, direct it maybe in a different direction towards your uh, water droplet, put your mouth on the other end, and <gasps> deep breath in and blow. Wow, look how furry. It almost looks like flames of fire. All right, so I'm gonna pick a different color. Take my paintbrush, dip it in the water, get it nice and wet, find another color. This time I might do a light green. Swirl, swirl, swirl in my paint, in my watercolor paint, get a lot of water in that uh, watercolor set, get a lot of the color on my paintbrush, find a blank spot on my page, tap my bristles on my page so I get some of that colored water on there, maybe add a couple of drops of water, line up my drinking straw, put my lips on the other end, take a deep breath and <gasps> blow! Wow, look at that visual movement it's creating of having the colors move across my page. Now, some of my color overlapped my other color and that's okay. I like to see what sort of color it makes when they overlap, totally fine. All right, I'm gonna look for more blank spots in my on my white piece of paper so I can do new colors. This time I might do a warm color, so maybe I'll switch to a yellow, find a blank spot, somewhat blank spot on my page, swirl, 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 get a lot of that yellow on my page by tapping my bristles with the yellow on the page, maybe adding a couple of drops, get out my straw, lips on the other end, take a deep breath, <gasps> and blow! Beautiful. All right, I'm looking for other blank spots where I can put a new color. Maybe I'll do a magenta in a certain area. A reddish magenta over here. Okay, you do not have to use the same colors as I do. You can do different colors, but I just wanted to show you how to fill the page with different colors. All right, I added my uh, watercolor to my page. Maybe I'll turn my page around so that I can blow it this way in a different direction. So ready? <gasps> Whoa, look at that. Now, I notice I'm having a lot of colors overlapping in this area. And when all the colors kind of mix together, it makes a little bit of a brown area. So I'm gonna try to not have any more colors go in this area. I'm only gonna have them go towards the corners. So for my last areas, I'm gonna pick my different colors, but instead of blowing it towards the middle, I'm gonna try to blow it towards the end so that they don't all mix together and get brown. So here's my orange. I'm gonna start blowing it towards the corners. <gasps> awesome, maybe I'll find a different area, different color, maybe another blue that I haven't used. Ooh, this nice turquoise. Add some water. And I'm gonna start blowing it towards the corners. And, <gasps> cool. All right, friends, well, you can just keep doing this, finding different areas on your page, filling them in, and blowing them across your page until there's not a lot of more space for you to fill in. Okay, friends, well, I hope you have fun doing this lesson and I can't wait to see yours.